Chapter 13, question 27. So, which statements help to explain why nitrogen and oxygen do not react at room temperature to form nitrogen monoxide? Okay, so they only react in a hot car engine. So, why is that? Okay, why is that so? So, um, for a reaction that needs high energy, okay, heat need uh, can only occur at high temperature means it needs high energy. So, it is very likely that this reaction is endothermic, okay, has high activation energy. So, reaction one, sorry, statement one is correct. The reaction is endothermic. For example, okay, you want ice to melt. It will not occur if you just leave the ice cube in the freezer. The in the in the freezer, the temperature is uh, zero or below zero, zero degrees Celsius. Not high temperature. No energy is provided for the um for the molecules to overcome their intermolecular forces. Okay, so melting of ice is actually endothermic. So it put it outside. Okay, it absorbs energy from the surrounding. Okay, at at the temperature higher than the temperature in the freezer, so the ice will start melting. So same like this one. Okay, you need high temperature for these two to occur because the reaction is endothermic. Okay, uh, it has very high activation energy. Also correct, okay, why you know activation energy is actually related to the bond energies in the reactants. In this case, you have nitrogen. You know, there's triple bond between the two nitrogen atoms in the nitrogen gas. So, because of the very high bond energy in the reactants, causing a very high activation energy required for this reaction to occur. So, in this question, all three statements are correct. Reaction is endothermic, activation energy of the reaction is high, and why? Because nitrogen has high bond energy. So, answer is A. 1, and, one 2, and 3 are correct.